Hello guys, this will be this is a pretty questionable Nintendo Toy Toy schedule. Brother of the Wild 2 is the only actual big game here. And yeah, look at the other games, we're gonna start at the bottom, like yeah. This game's not gonna sell switches. I'm sorry, anime fans. I just strike a gun for is not a system seller. Okay? And people were like, oh it is because it's a it's fan favorite. Oh no, it's an anime game. They don't sell, okay. You know, the next game is Rune Factory 5. That's another niche game. It won't sell consoles that much. Okay. Rune Factory has always been this these franchise. Pokemon Snap. Yeah, that's going to be a system seller because a lot of nostalgia fans, you know, the N64 fans that they always have not bet, bought a Switch will finally get so those 90s kids to cave in. The few of them that haven't bought a Switch yet to cave in and buy a Switch. So next is Simagon has a 5. I actually think that this, this like, like Persona 5 has a chance to become a very big game. The fact that they're promoting this game so much and they're promoting it so bigly. I think that Persona 5, unlike the last two anime games down here, I think it had a chance of becoming a hit like Persona 5. Not not like a six seven million dollar, like not a Breath of the Wild hit, but yeah, it's a million seller, basically. Uh, like, two, one, like a Zero Blade 2 type of hit. Two million copies, one to two million copies. Metroid 5, 5? I thought, I thought Metroid Prime 4, not Metroid 5, but yeah, I don't see Metroid 5. You know, Metroid is not the biggest franchise, but yeah, basically a new Metroid game, probably a 2D Metroid game. You know, pretty likely about that. Next is Bayonetta 3. That has been coming announced coming for a while. Bayonetta 3 might sell like a few million, one to two million copies as well, like Simulgon Tensei 5. It's already an exclusive game for the older people. Same thing with Normal Heroes 3. I think, no, I don't know how well Normal Heroes 3 will sell, but the tale is promoted as this big game. If they, if they do this game correctly, I think Normal Heroes 3 could sell a million copies. And they could put the first two games on the Switch for the eShop. Normal Heroes could actually be a big franchise, bigger franchise than people think it is. Same thing with Bayonetta and Simigami Tensei. All three have potential to become bigger franchises. Especially Bayonetta, which has inclusion in Smash Bros. And despite this, hasn't become a bigger franchise yet. Normal Heroes, I think if they include the character in Smash Bros., I think No More Heroes can finally become like a bigger franchise as well. You know, Simon Gary Tensei is already linked to the Persona franchise, so yeah, it already has that. And Breath of the Wild 2, that's going to be a no-brainer. A lot of people are saying it is going to come out in 2021, which is pretty obvious as a whole. But the problem is missing like Mario and all these other Nintendo properties. Just pulling these two anime games that are not really going to sell well at all on the Switch because they're only for a niche audience. And yeah, that's basically it. Goodbye.